the young and the restless spoilers. Nick had always valued honesty in his relationships, but he knew the conversation he needed to have with Sharon would be one of the hardest he had ever faced. He sat her down, took a deep breath, and began, Sharon, you know how much you mean to me. You're like a confidant, a soul made of sorts. But I need you to understand that I can't be by your side in a romantic sense. My heart belongs to Phyllis. Sharon's eyes widened, a mixture of confusion and denial clouding her features. But Nick, we have something special. You can't just walk away from that. Nick sighed, wishing he could make her see the truth without hurting her. Sharon, what we have is special, but it's not the kind of love that Phyllis and I share. I care about you deeply and will always be here to support you, but not as a lover. Refusing to accept Nick's words, Sharon's desire for him only grew stronger. This unfulfilled longing began to darken her thoughts, pushing her towards a path of jealousy and spite. She couldn't bear the idea of Nick being with someone else, especially Phyllis. The tension finally came to a head one evening when Nick and Phyllis took their relationship to the next level. Their intimacy solidified their bond, leaving no room for doubt about their future together. Phyllis, feeling triumphant, couldn't resist sharing the news with Sharon, hoping it would put an end to her futile pursuit of Nick. Sharon, I thought you should know, Phyllis began, her voice laced with a mix of pity and pride. Nick and I are together now, in every sense of the word. Sharon's face flushed with anger and humiliation. She felt like a defeated adversary, stripped of her dignity and left with nothing but a broken heart. Phyllis's words echoed in her mind, reinforcing her status as the one who had lost. But Sharon's reaction was far from what Phyllis expected. Instead of accepting defeat, Sharon's mind spiraled into a chaotic frenzy. She began concocting dark and sinister plans, driven by the belief that if Phyllis were out of the picture, Nick would be hers once again. Her thoughts grew more unhinged, her mental state deteriorating into a dangerous obsession. Sharon's increasing instability worried those around her. She began acting erratically, her behavior becoming more unpredictable and alarming. The once kind and compassionate woman now harbored malicious intentions, her mind fixated on the idea of eliminating Phyllis. Phyllis, sensing the growing danger, knew she needed to tread carefully. She understood that Sharon's mental state was fragile and that any provocation could push her over the edge. Despite her usual confidence and assertiveness, Phyllis found herself looking over her shoulder, aware that her life was potentially at risk. The question now was. What would Sharon do next? Her mind was a whirlwind of twisted plans and vengeful fantasies. Would she attempt to harm Phyllis physically? Would she try to sabotage her in some other way? The possibilities were endless and terrifying. Sharon's descent into madness was a tragedy in itself. She had once been a vibrant, loving person, but her unrequited love for Nick had driven her to the brink. Now, she was a shadow of her former self, consumed by bitterness and hatred. Phyllis, on the other hand, had to navigate this treacherous situation with caution. She couldn't let her guard down, knowing that Sharon was capable of anything. Her primary focus was to protect herself and those she loved from Sharon's unpredictable wrath. In the end, the outcome of this twisted love triangle would depend on Sharon's next move. Would she act on her dark impulses, or would she find a way to reclaim her sanity? Only time would tell, but one thing was certain, the stakes had never been higher, and the consequences of Sharon's actions could be devastating. As Sharon's plans began to take shape, the tension between the three of them reached a boiling point. Each interaction was fraught with underlying hostility and fear, a dangerous dance of emotions that could explode at any moment. In her desperation, Sharon started stalking Phyllis, following her every move, learning her routines, and looking for any opportunity to strike. She became more and more delusional, believing that Nick would be hers if only Phyllis were out of the way. Phyllis, aware of Sharon's increasingly erratic behavior, took precautions to ensure her safety. She installed security cameras, changed her daily routines, and even considered involving the authorities. However, she knew that legal measures might only escalate the situation, pushing Sharon further into her delusions. Nick, caught in the middle, was torn between his concern for Sharon's well-being and his love for Phyllis. He tried to reach out to Sharon, hoping to reason with her, but each attempt was met with hostility and denial. Sharon was too far gone, her mind twisted by jealousy and rage.